Hi guys. Um, so today this is sort of a bittersweet video um, because if you watched my last video um, I said that Roxy wasn't very well um, and uh, we had to have a put down yesterday and <laughs> it's, it's really really upsetting and I just wanted to say thank you to um, <coughs> sorry I told myself I wouldn't cry but um, yeah I wanted to say thank you to everybody who um, tweeted me such nice comments and um, left messages saying that we were praying for her but sadly yeah she had to be put down because she just couldn't walk anymore right <laughs> so I'm not gonna cry anymore because <laughs> I look like an idiot but I did what I always do when I'm sad and I go out and get some retail therapy <laughs> so that's what I've done today and I've done what I always do I find too much so yeah <laughs> so I went to Meadow Hall I'm gonna show you the first thing but the reason why I went to, went to Meadow Hall, I decided that I wanted to get this and I was umming and ahhing whether I should get it or not but I thought to cheer myself up I'm going to buy it because I know I'll wear it and you know. So it's from Swarovski and it's in here. box which is really cute. Got this little tag thing. So it's all sort of wrapped up with this. And there it is. <laughs> so as you can see it's Hello Kitty. I'm a Hello Kitty freak. I love Hello Kitty. It's not showing up um, on the camera as well as I hoped it would have because um, it is like such tiny little sparkles and everything on it it's beautiful and then on the clasp it's got this little Swarovski thing you can't see it no. there you go it's a Swarovski and then it's got another little crystal on it so yeah I got that and I love it to bits. I do think it is really, really pretty. Um, I also bought a cleaning cloth for it as well because they were on offer at like a pound, so I didn't think that was that bad. It is like quite a big cloth by the look of it. It's huge. <laughs> a massive cleaning cloth, so. Fold it back up. So yeah, I got that. I also got not some of the makeup falling on the floor. <clears throat> so I went into the Disney shop as well and I got this because I thought it was cute. £3.50. Um it's like a little Mickey Mouse heads that are gems. You can't really see it, but they're all little Mickey Mouse heads. I thought that was something cute to hang off my bag, so Disney Store exclusive. Um, from Asda, they had a few things on sale that I spied and that I fancied. Um, one of them seems to have gone walking since then. Um, so I got this Nailene um, French to go. Uh, it's a base colour for French manicure. Because um, I noticed the other day that I took all the nail varnish off my nails, but my nails are a little bit stained, so it didn't look that good. So I thought a sort of natural colour nail varnish should do quite well. Put that on there. Then I got this eyeliner brush by. Ubu, I think. 
It's a luxury liner, reduced from £3.50 to £1.75. And it's one of the, let's see if I can open it, one of the angled ones. I've never tried an angled eyeliner brush before. So when I saw this in like a little tub thing, I just thought I'm going to try that for £1.50. £1.75, sorry. That's one of the angled ones. So it should be quite easy to apply. So, got that one. And then I also got these Wonder Wheels, which are just uh, cosmetic sponges. I haven't had any cosmetic sponges for ages and I've been wanting some, so I thought I'd get those for £1.50. So they're half price. Pretty good. Um, from H&M, I got a few things. I got this Bambi lip balm, and it's called Pink Frosting. So it smells really sweet. That's how it looks. Really, really sweet. I love H&M lip balms. They're so nice. That's the back. Uh, I also got another lip balm. This is from their autumn range. It's this one that's called Pure Vanilla. And these are so cute, they're like in little tins. And it's just a white one. And this smells absolutely divine. Mm. So they're one ninety nine each. And then I got one of these eyeshadow palettes because I thought the colours were really, really nice. These were two ninety nine. I just thought that they were really, really pretty colours. So I'll try and swatch them for you. So they're the colours. So they are quite pigmented, which is good. The white one especially is really pigmented. So yeah, I like all those. Pretty. So I'll just wipe that off with my wet wipe. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm quiet, um, every time I sort of sit down I'm always just thinking about Roxy and stuff like that, it's just not fun. <sighs> um, also from H&M I got this eyeshadow brush because you can never have enough eyeshadow brushes. It looks like that. It's quite nice, it's fluffy and the hair looks a mess. Uh, this was one ninety nine as well. I got my mum one of these as well, so yeah. Um, and I got this one, this nail varnish, which is Minnie Mouse. As you can see, it's beautiful, and it's called Hot Minnie. I like the name; it's cute. I like the way that they've drawn her, like they've sketched it and then coloured it in a weird way. Uh, they had this one and a pink one. Um, I thought I have 7 million pink nail varnishes, but I don't really have any red ones, so I don't have that many red ones to be honest. So I thought I'd get this one. That was $1.99 as well. Um, then I got this. I thought this was really nice to like put your makeup brushes in and stuff. It's a Mickey Mouse one. Uh, so this was $2.99. It's like a little. You can use it for whatever you want. You can use it for a pencil case, you can use it for storing some makeup. I'm going to put my makeup brushes in it. And it's got these like dangly things on it as well. So I thought that was quite cute. I love H&M because everything is like so cheap, even though it's like licensed products, like with other brands, if you um, have like a licensed a license on it you usually have to pay more for it but with these you really don't um, and then this is the favorite thing that I actually got from H&M I absolutely love this um, this was $3.99 and it's called um, Sishik eyeshadows I think I don't know and these are so beautiful look at the design that's on them the colours are beautiful as well. I really, really adore them and it's quite big as well. Um, how much do you get? 
Doesn't tell you how big they all are. But they look pretty big. Yeah, I'll swatch them for you. I've swatched them all in the wrong order, but yeah. So this one's the gold one. Um, that one is that one there. That one is the blackish colour one. And then that one is that one. I love that. I can't wait to use that. It's going to be so pretty. Let me wipe them off again. Uh, I don't want to miss stuff. I've just got it all over my desk and I'm trying to pick up stuff as I go along. <laughs> um, I got this eyeshadow from George Asda, as you can see. Um, it's called Marine. I just thought it was a really, really pretty blue. So I'll swatch it for you. And these are really, really pigmented. Um, like even they're so shiny and gorgeous I love these George eyeshadows this is only the second one that I've got um, but I absolutely love it and then they have an offer on the nail varnishes so I can't find my Barry M um, Shatter top coat anywhere so I got this George one uh, as well as this sort of it's not a neon orange, sort of a muted neon orange. I thought that they'd look nice together, so it'd look a little bit leopard printy. I don't know. Um, I think we're coming to the end. Don't worry, I'll shut up eventually. Um, then from Boots, there was a couple of Hello Kitty things that I want. They'll be on my Hello Kitty channel. Um, yeah, and everything was on three for two, so I couldn't really find anything else that I wanted. So I went to look at the Christmas things, and I got this, which is the Fern Cotton um, Day Compact. There's this one, which is a day one, then there's a night one as well, and I just thought it was really cute. I'm not keen on the beetle, the beetle detail, but yeah, if you don't like the beetle detail, you won't like the inside neither. Yeah, it's a beetle. <laughs> So there's beetles on all of these eyeshadows, but I do really like it. I don't really have anything that's these colours. Um, I looked at the night one as well, um, but I don't know, they were all colours that I sort of thought I had before. Um, so, they're the colours. They are quite similar, but I suppose that's why it's a day palette, so you can wear them however you want. I do still like them. I quite like this foamy green colour. I haven't really seen many of those before, but yeah, it's quite nice. That was um, eight pounds, I think. But as I say, everything's on three for two. So if you are buying something else, you, yeah, you know, you understand how three for two works. <laughs> and finally, I have two books to show you. One of them <laughs> ordered a while ago, but it arrived. The sticker says signed by author. <laughs> um, and it is. So yeah, it's signed by One Direction. Yay! <laughs> so there you go. That's that. I haven't actually read it yet <laughs> because stuff's been happening, obviously. Um, and then I got this today because I needed something to make me laugh. Um, it is the In Between Us yearbook. Apparently it's sealed for your protection because I'm guessing there's lots of naughty stuff in here. Um, so yeah, yesterday um, after we said goodbye to Roxy and stuff, um, I just needed to get out of the house, um, so we went to Asda and I just ended up buying just loads of stuff that I didn't need, clothes and stuff that I didn't want. So took them back today. There's no point in me keeping them if you know I'm not gonna wear them or whatever. And I do find that I do that quite a lot. Because <laughs> I'll just buy stuff and then I'll be like, I don't really want this, so I just take it back and get my money back. Um So yeah, I did that yesterday. Um so this is the Imprunas book, now I've taken the wrapper off. And it's just like 
it's a comedy book in it really so I'm gonna read that and hopefully I'm gonna laugh a lot because <laughs> I definitely need it so um yeah that's that thank you so much to everybody for watching and everybody who left such nice comments about Roxy um Penny misses her like mad um like seriously she's just moping around the place and stuff but she's getting spoilt a lot now <laughs> um because we're all like just cuddling her all the time and stuff um and yeah she's she's just confused she keeps looking in um, the bed where our Roxy always was and she doesn't understand why she's not there anymore and yeah I'm trying not to cry again <laughs> But yeah, she's she's not understanding it, bless her. Um, but yeah, Roxy's she couldn't have carried on like she was um, because she just couldn't walk. She couldn't do anything. My dad had to pick her up out of bed to take her outside so she could do a business, but she wasn't doing a business. And then yeah. It was horrible taking her to the bed. I, I didn't go to work yesterday because we were going to take her in and it was the hardest thing ever to stand there and watch. But yeah, I'm not the first person to go through it, I know, but we had her for more than half of my life and that's freaky. She was 15, so... I've had her since I was nine years old and yeah it's sad so <laughs> yeah I'm sorry I'm a blubbering wreck today um but yeah so thank you again to everybody who's left the comments um it really really means a lot and I know some of you have gone through the same thing like recently and yeah I'm probably gonna make like a little tribute video for her or something um, and get that uploaded so I can watch her in good times I know some people are just gonna think I'm crazy for crying over a dog but when when somebody has been living in your house for the past 15 years and you know she's been there every single day and now she's not. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Cause I'm just gonna cry again. And I know I've made a complete tit out myself in this video, but I don't really care. So I'm gonna go now and I'll see you all soon. Adios. <laughs>